Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon TCG Collector's Chest. This item is brand new. I actually was able to pick it up before it was officially released. And it includes five booster packs, three foil promo cards, and much more inside the box. The box was $24.98 from Walmart. I've opened up a collector's chest before on YouTube, but this one has Rayquaza and Hoopa on it, and it includes breakthrough booster packs. So I can take the plastic off and then show a 360 view of the artwork. And open up the packs on the inside. Pretty excited to see this. Nintendo actually released quite a few things early when Breakthrough was officially released. But here is what the chest looks like without the plastic wrap on it. It's basically like a lunchbox. So there's all of the sides and then on the back. Pretty cool looking. Okay, so I'll open it up the way that you open it up. Here is you pull this down and then you can just lift it right up. And on the inside, it's like a blister pack, as you can see, like so. But here is basically like a blister pack with a very cool Hoopa coin. I can take all of these out real quick and show them on camera a little bit closer. It comes with a code card as well. There we go. So here is a close up of the coin. Pretty reflective, gold in color. Here is one of the Black Star promo cards in chess pin. Looks like XY88 is the number on it. Set that aside. Here's the Hoopa Black Star promo. And then the code card, and I'll give away this code card on my blog. And then here is the Pikachu. Okay, and then inside here, you get, looks like, five booster packs, a Mega Mewtwo breakthrough, so two breakthrough, set those aside, looks like an Ancient Origins, Roaring Skies, and a Primal Clash, so I will set those aside, and then show everything else here. You get some pencils, just like the previous collector's chest has Pikachu and Hoopa on them. Let's see if you can see a better shot of what the Pikachu looks like. Eh, not too much. So looks like so. And then the next thing that you get on the inside, there's some stickers and a collector's album. So here's the collector's album. There we go. Here's some stickers. So basically the Pokemon that was on the artwork of the chest, and here's a notepad you can use with your pencils. So there you go. Color went a little strange since it was so bright. Now I can get to opening the packs, and I'll do a little bit different this time. I'll save Breakthrough for last, and I'll start off here with the Roaring Skies pack and then move on to Primal Clash. I get delayed on the cover artwork here. card the, that I want most would be the Shaman EX Full Art, so most valuable card in the set. Okay, first pack here starts off with an Electrike, followed by Bagon. There's a Pidove, Ninkata, Swablu, followed by Dragonair, Glade Spirit Link, Shellgon, Reverse Hollow of, the net. Is that a rare? Yes, it is a great way to start off this opening. A rare reverse hollow of Banette. And the final card in the pack, a Togekiss hollow. So you can't do much better with a pack. Two rares in it, one hollow, one rare reverse hollow. Okay, on to Primal Clash. Now this is the best artwork, or the artwork that I've had the best luck with, which would be the Mega Gardevoir. So set that aside. Okay. Primal Clash Pack starts off with a Corphish, followed by Tynamo, there's a Weedle, Barboach, Honage, Needle Rena, Rough Seas, Bufalant, 
reverse holo of Rhydon. Is that another rare? Nope, it's an uncommon reverse holo. And the rare in the Primal Clash pack, a Blaziken holo. So two holo cards right in a row. Now this is pretty much the exact opposite of the collector's chest that I opened up. The first one that was ever released. I don't think I pulled any holo cards or ultra rares out of there at all. Okay, now we're moving on to this pack here. This one, Ancient Origins, code card right there. Okay, and this pack starts off with a Ralts, followed by Oddish. There's Inke, Combi, Relicanth, Flash Energy, Sablai, Lucky Helmet, Reverse Hollow of an Energy Recycler. That is an uncommon. And the rare in this pack, not an ultra rare, hopefully another hollow card. It is a Claydol non hollow. Okay, saving the best two packs for last, both Breakthrough, the newest set out there. I'll open up the Zoroark Break one first and then end with the Mega Mewtwo cover artwork. Cards I'd hope for most would be one of the two secret rare Mewtwo EX Full Arts. Okay, this pack starts off with a Magnemite, followed by Cubone. There's a Snubble, Cacnea, Scatterbug. Bridget, Stunfisk, Reverse Hollow after this Buddy Buddy Rescue, is a Simiseer, and that's a rare Reverse Hollow, so heavy on rare Reverse Hollows out of this box. And then the final card in the pack, oh, there we go, ultra rare, it is a Mega Mewtwo EX Full Art. One of my favorite cards from this set, a great pull overall. I still have one pack left to go. Now this card I've actually pulled twice of now. It's a very nice card to pull. Like I said, and definitely in the top 10 of my breakthrough cards. Top 10 favorite cards. Okay, so this last pack here, Mega Mewtwo. I've had really good pulls out of breakthrough now. Okay, last pack here in this collector's chest opening. Starts off with a Doduo, followed by Chess Pin. There's an Inkay, Pikachu, Magnemite, a couple of lightning type Pokemon right in a row. Another Buddy Buddy Rescue, Town Map, Judge, Reverse Hollow of a Rainbow Energy. That is an uncommon Reverse Hollow. And the final card here in this collector's chest opening is not an ultra rare, hopefully a hollow. It is a Glade hollow. So excellent pulls overall out of this collector's chest. I can summarize my pulls here, but five packs total. Four of the five had either a hollow or ultra rare. I'll save the ultra rare till the end there, but three hollows and one ultra rare. So there's a Glade, Togekiss, and this is an ancient trait. There's a Blaziken, and then the best card that I pull out was a Mega Mewtwo EX Full Art. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed watching me open up this collector's chest. I know a lot of people liked the original one. You can actually use this as a lunchbox if you'd like. But also has pretty cool pencils and notepad and stickers and whatnot. So, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to check out all the links in the description of this video. Including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.